Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about NFTs and making these low resolution 8 bit pixelated art pictures in Photoshop. Okay, you can see one I've made earlier on the screen in front of you. I'm just going to explain what an NFT is in case you're not sure. It's a non fungible token, which are what people are selling for lots and lots of money online at the moment. It means it's a one of a kind digital piece of artwork that belongs to you and you only. Um, if you are successful in making your NFTs and make lots of money, then I hope all the best to you. So to do this, we're going to be on Photoshop. We're going to start with a regular photograph. This is one of me on the beach the other day. And what we need to do is add a filter to it. And the filter we need to add will create a pixelated effect. So it's in the pixelated filters. And the one we're looking for is mosaic. Now, the important thing to do with this is find the right amount of mosaic. Too much, and you can't really tell what the picture is, and too little, and you can't really see that it's been pixelated. So we're going for about 100, in this case here, just over 100. Approximately 115, there we go. And we're going to click OK. And you can see we've got the vague outline of our pixelated shape. What we then need to do is to make lots of adjustments to the image. The first thing we're going to do is the levels we're going to find our levels bar we're going to move the blacks in so we darken up the blacks we're going to move the whites in so we brighten up the whites and we're going to experiment with the grays in the middle to find the right set up there somewhere here i think somewhere there click ok then we're going to make the colors a bit more vibrant so we're going to go to image adjustments and we're going to go to hue and saturation the one we're looking for here is the saturation, so we're going to saturate the colors a bit more and possibly make it a little bit lighter here. And then you can see that we've now got this really cool pixelated effect. If we wanted to, we could select individual pixels and we could change the individual color of those. So we might want to add some different effects to individual pixels. That would be up to us to do as we see fit. Okay, basically that's what you need to do is the mosaic filter. Have fun experimenting with it and let me know how you get on in the comments below. If you are keen to know more, pop over to the channel, hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell to tell you when I make new videos. But otherwise, have fun making your pixelated pictures. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.